the showdown between the Patriots and former quarterback Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is fast approaching just a few days away now from Tom Brady returning to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough on Sunday night football. The Patriots officially list eight players as questionable for Sunday night's game against the Bucs. Bowl starting tackles Trent Brown and Isaiah Wynn are on the report as questionable, as is cornerback J.C. Jackson. Now, I am told that Brown has a real chance to play in this game. Last week, it was close for Trent Brown. This week, it sounds even closer. We also spoke to tackle Isaiah Wynn and cornerback J.C. Jackson on Friday during media availability, usually a good indication that both players will be ready to go. Joining those three on the injury report, is linebacker Jawan Bentley, safety Kyle Duggar, kicker Nick Folk, linebacker Josh Uche, and Kyle Van Noy. All eight players officially questionable for the Patriots. Now on the Tampa Bay side of things, tight end Rob Gronkowski is officially doubtful for the Buccaneers with that rib injury that he suffered in the loss to the Rams last week. Gronk is dealing with a pain tolerance issue when it comes to the ribs. It's hurting him a whole lot. It sounds like he's going to be a long shot to play in this game on Sunday night. And if he does play, going to be a very limited Rob Gronkowski for the Bucs on Sunday night. So trending towards no Gronk in this game. If he does play, maybe a red zone package or some sort of limited role for the Tampa Bay tight end. A bummer though for Gronk in the return to Foxborough to not be able to suit up against his former team. The Buccaneers also already ruled out third down back Gio Bernard and a starting cornerback Jamal Dean and officially Jason Pierre-Paul, the Tampa Bay's top pass rusher, is questionable with a shoulder injury. Bruce Arians calling Gronk and JPP game time decisions on Friday. We also spoke to Patriots head coach Bill Belichick on Friday morning, and he was asked if he feels like he would have the same success with the Patriots over the last 20 years if it wasn't for Tom Brady. Here's Belichick on what Brady meant to the Patriots dynasty. Um, do you think that you would have had the success that you have had here if Tom Brady wasn't your quarterback? Yeah, of course not. Um, you know, what about having him in that partnership, I guess, brought you guys over the top for those years? Well, I mean, we talked about that for two decades. I think I've been on the record, I don't know, dozens of times saying there's no quarterback I would rather have than Tom Brady. And I still feel that way. I was very lucky to have Tom as the quarterback for to coach him. And, um, I mean, he was as, as good as any coach could ever ask for. Everything will come to a head on Sunday night as the Patriots will take the field finally against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady. All the chatter on the outside looking in, all the questions about Brady's departure, all of the game plan questions about how Bill Belichick is going to defend his former quarterback. A lot of those will be answered when the two teams finally take the field and the ball goes in the air at 8.15 on Sunday night. And we will have you completely covered pre-game, during the game, and post-game on clnsmedia.com and on Patriots Press Pass. Wall-to-wall -wall coverage at CLNS of the return of the King, Tom Brady, coming back to Foxborough. CLNS Media's Patriots coverage is brought to you by the Legends brand. High performance apparel with style and comfort that you will want to wear all day long. Use the promo code PATS20 for 20% off your first order. That is legends.com.